Hi, this is Stephen Poff with 365 Days Project Video Podcast. We're here with another tutorial. I was uh, kind of excited this week because I got a little piece of equipment in that uh, that's kind of uh, helped me do something more creative with my shots that I've been wanting to do for a little while. And uh, as somebody mentioned on a shot that I took today, I thought I'd do a little tutorial for you on, um, on how I did this. So what I got this week was a remote trigger for my shutter on my camera. Um, it's a little piece I got from uh, Gadget Infinity. Here's the, uh, this is the receiver right here. And um, this is what triggers my camera. And it just goes right into here on the side. Um, plugs in just like that. And then what I have to go along with it is a transmitter that I can hold my hand and I can remotely trigger the flash. Now this eliminates the need for doing a self-time shot. So um, what it allows me to do is to hold this in my hand and to do a jump or do some action shot that I normally would have had to do with the uh, with the self timer and um, try to time it, you know, exactly whenever it goes off. I don't really have that much luck or coordination with trying to do those um, at the exact moment that my timer goes off. So this is a really great way to do it. Um, but for those of you, uh, by the way, I got this from a company called Gadget Infinity. Um, I've mentioned them before, and there'll be a link to it on the website. And if you look at the bottom of your screen right here, you'll see a, a link back to it. But be sure to check the blog as well. We'll have it on there. Um, but since uh, you probably don't already have this, since I just mentioned it, there's another way you can do this, and another way I've uh, seen this kind of popular that people are doing uh, shots similar to this. So um, let, me, uh, let me show you what I've done. Okay. So um, another thing that you can do is that you can uh, take a chair or a stool or a bucket or anything that you can stand on and, uh, and put this in the scene with you. And what you'll do is you'll set your timer, uh, stand on top of the object. Now you want to make sure that when you, when you stand like this that you make sure that your feet um, are kind of on the edge so that... Um, so that later on we can Photoshop this out and there won't be anything obstructing the view of your feet. So uh, that's why I put the back of the chair here um, out of the way. Um, then what you do is you take a shot of you in the scene, um, just like that. And then what you do is you uh, take the chair out of the scene. And then you shoot what's called a plate. You shoot the exact same shot uh, from the exact same position, same exposure, same aperture, everything, except without you in it. And then um, what we do is we go into Photoshop and then we uh, put one layer on top of the other. And then you just kind of mask out the chair. And that's how you do it. So um, I hope that helped you out. Um, and uh, again, uh, the easier way to do it is if you go to Gadget Infinity, you can buy one of these uh, remote tr uh, shutter releases. But this is also an effective way to do it. There's other, been other people who have done a great job uh, trying out this technique. And uh, so I'd like to see uh, more of you trying that. And send me, uh, send me an email and, and, and uh, let me see it. So anyway, uh, for the 365 Days Project Video Podcast, this is Stephen Poff, and uh, we'll see you next time.